anything that sold for over $50 in the month of March, which was my best month ever full-time reselling. My name is Erlia, otherwise known as Marty Chick, and I am a full-time clothing reseller, and sometimes I make videos on YouTube. Sometimes. I've been gone from YouTube for quite some time now because I was going through some personal issues. I did write about it over on my community tab if you want to go and check that out. But overall, I have just come to a realization that I want to shift some things in my YouTube videos to make a more inclusive and positive community on here because that is just really all I want out of this channel and for all of you to enjoy my videos. So yeah, if you guys are ready, sit back, relax, or do your work at the same time because I know I watch a lot of reselling YouTubers while I'm doing my own reselling work. Or if you just wanna hang out, hang out. We'll have some fun, we'll discuss some sales of mine that sold in March, so let's get into it. So working from the beginning of March to the end of March, I'm gonna start with my Poshmark sales. So this first sale here was this Gatsby Lady London leather jacket. I bought this for $30 and it ended up selling $400 on an offer. I had previously sold a jacket just like this before, but this one had some embroidered stars on the sides, which was lovely. I really, really like selling these types of quality leather pieces. For me, I just kind of gravitate towards leather, so that is something I was really excited to find. So my profit on this sale was exactly $50 um, after Poshmark fees. The next one after that was a total score. I was very surprised to even be able to find this. I found this at a buy sell trade store and it was $18. It was right when we were transitioning from winter to spring. So I was really trying to find some dresses and floral pieces, but a lot of places didn't have them. And this was one of the first ones that they ended up putting out. This was actually a brand new with tags and I loved the pattern on this. Honestly, my model photos were good, but I feel like the other photos could have been better on this one. But this one ended up selling on an offer for a higher amount at 126, which meant that my profit on this was 8108. This was an absolute great sale, and this was a total surprise to me when I sent out my offer to Likers on my whole closet and this sold. I was stunned that this would sell for this amount, but I looked up comps and they looked even higher, so I was really excited to make the profit on this sale. The next sale here was actually a really big gamble for me and it was this Reformation linen Nia dress and I ended up paying up $80 for this. It was brand new with tags. Probably should not have paid that much for it at the time, but I kept thinking like, no, this is gonna sell really fast for vacation season and it did. I think this took around a week and a half to sell and it sold for $175. That is a lot more than other Reformation pieces I've sold. So I was stunned that this sold that fast and for this amount, but again, comps looked pretty good. So on this one, I ended up making $58.28. And some of you guys might think, you know, like, oh, would I pay $80 only to get $57 back? I would if it's a fast turnaround and comps look good and secure. Um, but again, it was somewhat of a gamble, so I probably would not buy this again um, just because seasons might change, styles might change, and that. So if you're looking at this dress, if it's less than $80 maybe, but if it is over that at this point, I would not recommend it. The next find here were these Aviator Nation shorts. I remember finding these in the bins. I was shocked to find them there actually, but my bin finds have been really, really good lately. So these were actually mixed in with kids clothing. So that is definitely a tip for you guys if you are regularly thrifting. Always go through the kids clothing because it can be quite profitable when you find some smaller sizes like Lulu or Aviator Nation in there. And these were the rainbow tie-dye style. So I was shocked that these ended up selling so fast. These sold within two days and they sold for $70 which it was just so shocking to me. They did need a little bit of material cleanup, so I took a depiller and it made sure to depil some of the little fuzzies on them. But after that, I think there was some wear on the band and these were otherwise in great use condition. So yeah, I was really excited to have these go really fast, especially from the bins. After that, Golden Goose has gone downhill pretty fast for me, I would say, and so I don't think that I'll be picking them up at the same price point anymore. But these were a pair of Golden Goose Stardan sneakers, and I previously sold these for $4.15, I believe. These ones were mismatched, so they were a gold and silver pair, but they did have some glue transfer along the seams from the manufacturer, so that meant that they were worth a little bit less. I paid $2.13 for these, and they sold for $3.75 on Poshmark, which meant I only made $87 on these, so... 
Yeah, I probably will not be picking these up at this price point anymore because they sit a while longer and people are trying to pay less for them. So I cannot tell you how many times I've gotten $200 offers on sneakers like this so I don't think that I'll be selling these anymore or if I do they might just be only on eBay because eBay gives you um, better seller's fees for things like this and I think for designer sneakers they've actually stopped having seller's fees on them so yeah I think I might just sell them on eBay anymore or just not sell them at all I have two pairs in my closet still so if you are a smaller size hit me up the next item here was this gorgeous Reformation Rose Hip Dress. It was a pretty blush color. This I also found in the bins, shockingly, with another Reformation dress. The other one had a little bit of staining, but this one was in pristine condition, and I could just imagine someone wearing this as a bridesmaid or in a part of a wedding party or something like that. So this I only paid $2 for. It sold for $107, so I made a profit of $81.88 because I think this was an offer to like her, so I had some sort of shipping discount. This sold also really fast. This sold within a week, so I was very excited about the sale as well. This jumpsuit. I loved this jumpsuit. Obviously, you guys can tell I have a thing for pink. Um, this sweater is available in my store if you want it. It's a designer called La Ligne. Um, but I just have a thing for pink and I probably should have kept this jumpsuit in my opinion But the profit was too good to pass up. So I bought this for $20 at a specific buy sell trade store I actually went back recently. They had another one in blue and they priced it up to 50 So I had a really good idea that they watched uh, Me buy this and looked it up online afterwards, but it sold for $120 on an offer I was shocked to even get that much for a Rebecca Taylor piece, but the La Vie collection and just the style in general was really popular. So I ended up making $76 on this jumpsuit, but I would even say that that was a little bit of a gamble. I wouldn't pay $50 for it, but I would pay $20. After that were these Stuart Weitzman boots. Stuart Weitzman can go really good, but for me personally, it does sit for a little while longer. I bought these right at the end of winter, so they were just going out of season. Um, I paid $85 for them, so I did pay up quite a bit. But this specific style, they are called the Hardy Boot. I believe that these were only sold in Europe because I could only find European pricing on them. I sold them for $200 on Poshmark, and that means that I made a profit of $75. I'm totally okay with paying $85 and getting $75 back because to me, that is still a big jump in profit for me personally, and I'm just waiting on something. But for Stuart Weitzman in general, I would say that these do sit a while longer, so if you're thinking about paying out for them, just keep that in mind. We are moving into summer now. Um, you might have to wait until fall or next winter to sell them. This next listing, I was super excited to sell when I found it. This was new with tags, and it was a For Love and Lemons dress, and this is called the Melrose dress. had roses all over it, and this was originally sold at Victoria's Secret. Absolutely stunning. I could definitely see this for Valentine's Day, and it actually sold just after. So I'm hoping that the person that got this loves it and are wearing them out to date nights or Instagram photo shoots or anything like that because it is just stunning. I paid $14 for this. It was a steal. I know. And it sold for $103 um, on an offer to Liker. So that means I made a profit of $64.40 on it. Was shocked that this sold for that amount as well, but it did. I actually think that my modeled photos on this did really well for it because there were a lot of stock photos and there were a lot of items just like it. But since I modeled it, I felt like that did it a lot of justice and made it stick out more, in my opinion. But yeah, obsessed with this listing, obsessed with this sale. The next item here is something I've been looking for for a very, very long time. These jeans, they're called the Feel Studio. Definitely a bolo brand to be on the lookout for. I ended up finding these on the Real Real and buying them immediately because I knew that they would be gone in a matter of seconds. So I paid $90 for these. And some of you guys are gonna be like, $90 really? That's a lot of money. And I'm like, yeah, that was a lot of money. But these sold for $195 within a few days. So I was really happy with that. I was actually hoping that they would sell on eBay so I'd have a better um, profit margin in there. But that means I made $63.14 on something really, really fast. So again, I would pick these up again for the same price point. And these were just really nicely made. I guess the idea is that you could wear them one way or wear them another way. And they're going to wear in to your body and fit differently depending on who wears them and in what ways. So yeah, if you guys like a good pair of luxury denim jeans, these would be it. 
If you guys are still watching this video, do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up down below if you are learning things or if you just enjoy these types of videos for me because I like making them and it would just make me so happy to see that you clicked the like button. All right, we're going to continue. The next sale here, I was obsessed with these. I ended up sourcing these retail arbitrage. These were a pair of a Ning Bing. I cannot say that. I can never say that right. I think it's a Nina. I learned that from LA Posture Jen now that she has said that. It's a Nina Bing. I used to call it a Ning Bing. And to be quite honest, I think I still might. But however you want to say it, these booties were adorable. They were a pointed toe western buckle um, booty. And these were 100% leather. So again, leather just, ugh, it always sells. I bought these for $59 in person. And they sold for $150 on an offer. I was hoping to get a little bit more for them, in my opinion. But when I got the offer, I was just like, you know what? These have sat in my closet for a whole season. I want them gone. And they still made me a really good profit of $61, which is over the amount that I originally paid for them. So I'll take it. Okay, another thing to be on the lookout for are these Lululemon Define jackets. I've sold two and every time they sell within a week. So this next one here I got from the bin, so I paid $2 for it. It's fully black with kind of that mock neckline and the cuffins. Obsessed with the cuffins. I swear I could wear every Lululemon piece with cuffins ever. I love them. But I was really excited to find this. It had a mesh back to it, so it had like a floral mesh back. And this ended up selling for $70, so that means I made $54 on it. And I was very excited to see this one go. I did wear it once before I ended up selling it and I was considering keeping it, but it was just a little bit baggy on me. So hopefully the person that got it really loves it. This next listing did sell over the $50 profit, but I probably would not get them again. So I really have a thing for leather, as you guys know, but these are a pair of Durango boots. And although I like selling Durango, what I found is usually people want you to pay up for them and they don't sell for quite that much, but for some reason these did and I'm very grateful for that. So I paid $55 for these and they sold for $135, which means I made $51.28. These sold on an offer. I was not expecting these to sell that high after they sat for a season. I kept thinking, oh, well, maybe I, you know, did not price them accordingly or maybe they weren't worth that much, but these did end up going. I was a huge fan of the style of this boot. It was almost like a pearlescent pink, but again, I just really was not convinced after relisting them that these would sell, but they did, and I am very grateful for that sale as well. And the final sale on Poshmark that I made over $50 was this Doen blouse. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to be surprised about this or not. I found this in the bins as well. And this ended up having a hole on one sleeve. But luckily, since I am a good seamstress, I was able to repair that. I remember that this had sold within three days, which was very surprising. Because I believe it was an older style. And again, with the hole, I just kind of wasn't sure. But finding this in the bins for $2, I flipped it on an offer to Liker for $87. Which means that I made $65.88 on this item alone. And it was a really light item and easy to pack. So... Yeah, I was very, very happy about this one, and I actually wasn't sure if it was going to sell on eBay or Poshmark first because it had a lot of attention on both. Um, but yeah, it sold on Poshmark, and I was very excited about that one. So overall, Poshmark in March did me really well, especially because they had the free shipping hours. I'm convinced that they need to do more of those because those actually ended up making me quite a bit of sales. So yeah, March for me was very good. Um, but overall, I think I just had a lot of great finds that were in season and they finally just went. And again, I did have a few that were mixed in there that were out of season that finally sold. But overall, I think I just got lucky in my sourcing. All right, now on to eBay, everyone's favorite new platform. I have been listing on eBay for several months now, so it has been quite consistent for me. But this month just knocked it out of the park. I sold a lot. I made a lot of profit. So the first one that I want to mention here was this 27 Miles Malibu Cashmere Sweater. I ended up purchasing this for $34 and it had embroidered little kisses all over it. Super duper cute. Again, I thought that this would actually sell for Valentine's Day and it did not as well. Um, this was brand new with tags and it ended up selling on an offer on eBay for $100, which was very exciting. I don't offer any type of shipping discount on eBay, so whatever they pay for is what I ship it for. Um, so I don't do free shipping or anything like that, but I do tend to still make quite a few sales. So this one was very exciting and it wasn't super expensive to ship because it was around that one pound. Oh gosh, I didn't even mention my profit. So my profit on 
this sweater was $59.33 after fees and getting like a tiny bit back from the shipping. So the next sale here is actually a bundle, um, a bundle sale, and I was just so, so excited about this. So I found both of these jackets actually at a New York sample sale that I went to with my dad, shout out him, um, because he stood in line with me for two hours waiting for this to open up. And I remember that when they were sharing the photos, these leather jackets were on the wall. And I kept thinking like, no, those are worth a lot more. So I paid $25 a piece for these. So I paid $50 and they ended up selling in a bundle for $180. So the person paid $90, $90. And they have shopped with me since then. So thank you so much because this was such an amazing sale for me. And I'm so grateful for your business. Um, but the profit that I made on these was $114.41. You find any of these blank NYC leather jackets. Some people don't think that they're worth that much, but they actually are because again, they are leather. Um, they have slowed down quite a bit because we are coming into summer now, but in the fall, I still do have a few and I'm hoping that they'll sell by then. But this was just an excellent sale and I do think that I'll be sourcing some more at sample sales because I got some amazing prices for these. After that was this Patagonia Aztec Cinchilla. This is in a blue green color and I paid $23 for this and it sold for $90. This is to an international buyer and that means that I made a total of $57.10 on this sale. I was not expecting this to sell for that much. It did have some issues along the seams that I did fix, but it did sell pretty fast and for an amazing price, so I'll take it. After that, this one is one that I sourced online. It was this Love Shack Fancy Russ Tropical Mini Dress. It was kind of a sheer color. I definitely anticipated this selling in the summertime here, but I was shocked that it went for this amount on eBay. I did just want to warn you guys, though, in this video, I did use a stock photo in this, I probably shouldn't have done that. I've gotten Vero now. Um, if you guys are starting on eBay and you don't know where to start, I'm guaranteeing you do not use stock photos because you will get your account taken down. But anyways, I paid $90 for this dress and it sold for $200, which was amazing because eBay cuts are just chef's kiss and they don't take 20% like Poshmark. So this ended up making me $92.87 in profit, which I absolutely will take. And yeah, I had no issues selling this. It was great. I did include insurance on it just in case something was to happen, but I had no issues. After that is not a super duper exciting find, but it's another bins find. I found this Nilly Low Tan 100% Linen Top. This was actually very much in bad condition when I got it, but I thought, you know, if I can clean this up, that would be great. So I did invest in some cleaning products. I paid $2 for this in addition to the cleaning products, but I do use them quite often. Um, and it had makeup stains along the neckline, so I got those out. It did have some pilling issues, so I used to depeller on it. It needed a lot of work, um, but it did end up selling on eBay for $55 pretty fast. As you guys could tell, I didn't even have time to update the cover photo here. Um, and again, shipping is included. So it ended up making $52.23. I believe that I used um, first class priority on this just because it was a letter item. And that way I did make a little bit more on shipping. But yeah, I had actually had an offer on this lower before this one. Um, and that one didn't go through. And so when this one went through, I was very excited about it because I just wanted this shirt to move out and go to a new home. The next sale here, I was shocked that this sold for this amount too, but blazers definitely are something that can be sold for a little bit more. This was a vintage Ralph Lauren blazer. It was 100% linen and it had an embroidered pocket on the front with the Ralph Lauren logo and it had gold hardware. So it was definitely a classic piece to have in someone's wardrobe. Um, they ended up paying $50 for it. This was another bins fine, so I paid two and that means I made $51.65. If you guys have noticed, there's definitely a trend with things that I get from the bins. I want to tell you guys you do not have to be paying up for items if you don't want to because you can definitely find some good items still for lower initial costs. Um, you can still make the same profit margin or the same profit amount. You just have to be looking for those nicer things. So just keep that in mind when you're sourcing yourselves. If you don't have anything near you like that, I would recommend sourcing online because you can still make the same profits. But if you are short on cash, I definitely would recommend the bins or regular thrifting. Next is another warning. Don't put these stock photos on there. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. 
Um, I paid two dollars for this lovers and friends dress. This is called the Shayla dress, um, and this is more of like a bridesmaid wedding formal style as well. Um, so that is another trend that's been really hot lately for weddings because everything that's been postponed since COVID is now going on. So these maxi styles are definitely selling pretty fast for me now, even. Um, so I sold this for $70 on an offer, and that means that I made $65.17 on this dress after fees and everything like that. I was very excited to see this go. It did have one small stain on it, which I did disclose, but they accepted it, they loved it, and that is all I could ask. We are getting to the end of the sales here, I swear. Um, this next one is another Lululemon jacket. I found this one in the bins as well for $2 and it sold for $74.25 on an offer that I sent out. I do try to send out offers on eBay daily because I notice that people like things and if I send them an offer, usually about one person per day does accept them. Um, so I try to do that and this is a uh, kind of like mulberry purple color and this has a double zipper on the inside so it's convertible with a convertible hood you can take it on and off so definitely a really good style to be on the lookout for i also just sold the same one in green recently um, so this was a great sale for me as well. So the profit I made on this item was $64.08. Um, it's going to be harder to pay up for these pieces, but I would say if you find them at a really good price, do pick them up. And anyone that says Lululemon is dead doesn't know the right styles. I will say the Define jackets and these Fleecy Keen jackets, jackets in general from Lululemon, go for a lot more than any other other styles. I would say their leggings have gone down quite a bit, but if you find a rarer style like the Hot Pink or Baby Blue, they do sell for faster and for a larger amount of money. Next up is an item that I had sat on for a while because it did have a flaw on it, and I knew that when I was purchasing it, but it just took me forever to fix the item. I don't even know why it was sitting in my death pile forever um, but what happened was it had a second button missing on the top of it so what I ended up doing was taking one from the bottom moving it up and then getting rid of that tiny little loop at the bottom and stitching it out and so it looked brand new I did disclose this within the listing that it was repaired I paid $50 for this online and it sold for $165 a year later only because it took me so long just to do the mending on it but that means that I made a pretty good profit of $100.82 on it, which I was very happy about. This was 100% silk. I love the deep V on this with a little bit of a pup sleeve. Adorable. Great style, too. This was very, very flattering. I would say that you should look out for styles that you think you would wear in Love Shack Fancy because some of them don't sell quite as fast as others, but these satin pieces or muted colors or light pinks or pastels do sell pretty quickly. Up next was a new brand to me that I found recently in this month and I was obsessed with it so I got another one. This was 11.6 if you guys don't know that brand um, and this was an alpaca wool little pullover sweater. It was kind of an abstract style with wider sleeves. I love this. I paid $64 for it which is quite a lot. I was hoping that this would sell for more but it did sell for $125 which means that I made $50.79 which I cannot complain about. And the final sale that I made on eBay that was over $50 in the month of March was this Skull Cashmere sweater. You guessed it. I found this at the bins and it did have quite a few flaws on it. It had little snags and holes so I did repair these and I'd actually not found this style online at all. It was a blue paint splatter style and I think that that added to the desirability of it because I got a lot of interest in this item all at once. Um, it was a lighter knit cashmere with a little bit of a scoop neckline. So again, I paid $2 for it and it sold for $99 on eBay, which means I made $85.12 on the sale and it was really, really light to ship. But that is it for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next video. See ya.